We were born for supernatural encounters with Jesus. It's the nature of his world to rock ours. I can remember the first time I encountered the mind-blowing raw power of God. I was in Mexico with my friend Gary Batt. He asked me to minister to his network of pastors and leaders, and I'll never forget it. He said, prophesy over this man. And I was like, what? Sure enough, I did. And the man who didn't speak English told me through his translator that the words I gave him was exactly what he heard from a friend several days earlier. I was floored. The next day, I ministered to about 30 to 40 leaders. Some were afflicted with sickness and really just needing a word of encouragement. I didn't really see anything extraordinary from that meeting, but when I got back, Gary tells me that the Holy Spirit absolutely wrecked that place. We're talking dramatic healings. One lady, completely healed of a stomach disease the doctors could not solve. That changed me forever. I began to study the healing heroes of the faith, Wigglesworth, Roberts, and others. I saw them as larger than life. The risks that they took, the amazing stories, even their failures and misses. As I read my Bible, I couldn't get through a chapter without seeing Jesus doing impossible things in and through ordinary people. If Christ could use them, why not me? Why not you? Words are so inadequate sometimes. Everything they had in their early church is being restored. This isn't a revival, this is restoration. Thank you, Lord, that we can be doers of the word and not just hearers only. There are realms that are available in Christ that are accessible now that most believers think are reserved for eternity. I believe God that it'll be exactly like he told me it'd be. The goal of kingdom culture is to awaken God's people to their supernatural inheritance and release into this region that power they desperately need, his overwhelming love and the raw power of God on earth as it is in heaven.